Okay, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to this second lecture on proportion. Uh, so, what we're going to look at today is um, we're going to look at the data that we've seen from previous the previous week. So, the company who supplied that data want to know about products that uh, don't sell well or don't aren't very profitable. Um, and to, today, we're we're just going to look at proportion of each product. So, which is the highest selling product? Which is the lowest selling product? Uh, and uh, how we might split them up. We're going to use two standard plot types. So we're going to use bar charts, uh, obviously called bar chart because of the the bars um, representing heights, and uh, we'll also look at pie charts at the end. <coughs> okay, uh, there's all the code that we're looking at today, uh, like last week, all the code has similar features. Okay, so they all, all start with, so each example starts with more or less the same code, uh, except that this week we're also going to use uh, something called NumPy, numerical Python, uh, and you can download that from this site or you can use pip to install it. So the common code in, in all our examples is these three imports, as we've seen, we import matplotlib, that's plt, we import pandas as pd, but also this time we're in, importing NumPy as np. This, these are really common abbreviations, they're used uh, you know, right across the, the data science industry, so if, if you, you, know, you see pd, you'll pd dot something, you're probably looking at pandas in a bit of code. <clears throat> um, and then we have, when we draw a plot, so if we're drawing a bar chart or we're drawing a, a pie chart, uh, then we'll have something like plot plt dot figure, and we can say what size the figure is going to be. So in this case, eight by eight, that's sort of, it sort of fills, half fills my screen, I guess. And then when we've drawn, we've drawn all the data in it, uh, then we do plt dot show. So those are common features for every example we've got in this uh, this week's download. Um, the data we've seen uh, just like as we saw last week, the data has 25 columns. So there's 25 different products, and there's 365 rows, one for each day of the year. And if you remember, <coughs> each um, each day uh, tells you how many time how many products were sold of that type in that day. So each cell in the uh, in the uh, spreadsheet. Okay, so initially, we, we want to make sense of our data. Now, you can do that, <clears throat> like we saw last week, by just sorting and finding out what, what's the highest selling product just by sorting the data. But, you know, this is a course about visualization, so let's visualize things. Uh, it's going to be much more helpful. So we're initially going to explore the total sales over the year to get a sense of the proportions of each. And then we'll, next week and the week after, we'll look at uh, other things like... Uh, you know, whether they're going up or down. So we're not trying to find out whether they're going up or down at the moment. We'll, we'll do that uh, later on. Uh, <clears throat> as I said, we can just print this out. So you could just print out uh, data.head, gives you the first five rows of the data. Data.sum, uh, we could print out data.sum, and we did that last week, and that just gives us a sum of all the, all the values. And that would that be a very quick way of finding it, but it's not very visual. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the uh, video here and then we'll move on and look at some bar charts in the next one. <clears throat>